let's dive into the first Dilla track I'll be breaking down for this series. Uh, it's one of my favorite Dilla beats, which is why I wanted to start with it. Um, this song is based around this sample from an acapella group called uh, The Singers Unlimited. Uh, they usually did, they had original albums, but they also did a lot of covers of popular songs in the 70s and 80s. And uh, the sample in this song comes from a record called Claire, which on the record sounds like this. So the bulk of the chops come from uh, this sample pitched down four tones. Uh, and so the main pattern goes like this. And so I had that down, and it wasn't totally right. Uh, the majority of it was right, but those last two notes, if you go and listen to the record, they're different. I had to go through every little sound. I thought it was somewhere else in the song, so I basically went through every do in the song and pitched it around, and then it ended up being in that same uh, sample, the original sample, and it's right at the end, actually. So there's these two do-do sounds at the end, and if you listen to the recording on the album... <laughs> goes through here and all these have been used so you have those two where it slows down and uh, it turns out those were the two that he used in the end except he pitched them down another five tones to a total of nine tones pitched down so with those final doot doots uh, at the end of the pattern the full pattern sounds like this <laughs> And then so on top of that pattern, uh, I filtered out all the frequencies below about 200 hertz uh, to leave some room for the bass line and the kick drum and get rid of some of that rumble that's in there and uh, just leave the nice singing on top. So the drums for this song um, came in bits and pieces from uh, Rapper's Delight by Sugar Hill Gang. Uh, this is the little portion that I sampled. I'm not entirely sure what Dilla did. Uh, but I know he used that snare and those hi-hats for sure. I just don't know how he chopped them exactly. Um, so this is what I did to sound like the record. Uh, so first I got that snare. Real nice snare. And then uh, I went and grabbed a kick of my own. So the snare and the kick pattern are like this. And then there's some hi-hats throughout the whole thing that definitely came from Rapper's Delight. And at first, um, I was thinking he might have just pitched them down sort of to get them in time. And so I did that. And uh, it's sort of two little tidbits chopped up and slowed down and sequenced. So that was okay. I mean, it wasn't great. Um, but listening closer... Um, I've, I realized that what he did was he time stretched them and kept the pitch the same um, instead of just slowing them down and having them be slower that way. And then so I tried that out by itself. And it sounds closer tone wise uh, to the record. So I just I ended up just combining the two uh, to get a little bit more chunk and sort of more groove to them. Uh, than you would just one or the other and so with uh, the sample this is how my drums ended up being so now we've got the bass line which is about as dilla of a bass line as you could really ever have uh, it's just that real punchy sub bass um, just all over the place finding the best pocket you could ever find and it took me a lot of takes to really try and nail it uh, but the sub bass sort of sounds here's here is the bass line so once you add the bass line uh, the tracks pretty much complete because there's not a lot going on arrangement wise um, it's just a really really good four bar loop uh, with some drops here and there. Um, so uh, let me know if you like the video. Subscribe. Uh, comment.
let me know what songs you'd like to see me do in the future and i'll go ahead and play the full version of the beat as it uh, fades out here and i will see you on the next episode of beat breakdown hey.